This is exercise 15-4A using multi-line text columns. I'm in the columns demo drawing file in the steps lesson 15 folder. I can enter the mtext command, I can enter T, or I can select mtext from the tools palette. AutoCAD asked me if I want to reset my annotative scale. I'm perfectly happy with what it says, so I'll accept that. Now AutoCAD wants me to specify my first corner. I'll set my first corner at 1,15.75. That starts me in the upper left quadrant of my drawing file. I will specify the width at 4.75. AutoCAD begins my M text and presents the visor. We'll set the text to 1 eighth of an inch and we'll set the color to by layer. Okay, we're already set up and ready to go. In the properties inspector, We'll pick the Columns button. We'll use the Auto Hide option and we'll open the Column Settings dialog box. Again, we're using the Auto Hide option. We will set our automatic height to 14 inches. Set our column width to 4.75 inches and we'll give it a half inch gutter. Okay, that. AutoCAD begins with a single column. Let's import our text now. We're looking for an RTF file, so we'll change our file format. Select Prelude, Sarah, RTF. Open. AutoCAD imports the text and starts using columns for us. Notice that our text height changed. Let's select all the text. I'll do a command A to select all the text and change it back to 1 8 inch, like so. Now we've got a natural break at the stars. So we're going to put our cursor here, right click, and insert a column break, like so. Now we can resize our columns by using the resize height arrows. I want them to cover four columns and I like to come close to filling those four columns if I can. I then can save my text, save my file, and enjoy the preview of Sarah.